Punch Drunk is a British theatre company. It was formed in 2000. It is the pioneer of a form of immersive theatre, in which the audience is free to choose what to watch and where to go. This format is related to Promenade Theatre. The company was founded by Felix Barrett. Also includes, executive director is Griselda York. Company members include associate director and choreographer Maxine Doyle, enrichment director Peter Higgin, producer Colin Nightingale, sound and graphic designer Stephen Dobby, technical director Ian Maybank, and design associates Liv Vaughan and Bowmans. Punch Drunk is inspired by Film Bar, which is a French production style like that of Hollywood crime dramas that emphasize cynical attitudes and sexual motivations. So, what is Punch Drunk's type of production? More interactive than conventional theater. Many of the performances include the audience walking, touching, and interacting with the performers and location items. The location is meant to imitate, or it is the accurate setting of the theatrical story. Sleep No More is an adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth in the style of an Alfred Hitchcock thriller. It takes place in dark and dreary hotel, called Hotel McKittrick, consisting of a five-story building with a working elevator. Inside are doctor's offices, children's bedroom, a cemetery, an indoor courtyard, a padded cell, ballroom, an asylum for the insane. Also included are a menagerie, a fully operational bar and lounge called the Mandalay Bar, plus much, much more. Characters and the environment all adapt the dress, decor, and authentic style of the 20th century. Oh, by the way, the audience is also not given a program. The audience starts off in the Mandalay Bar. From there they enter an elevator to transport them to the major floors of the hotel. They are instructed they must remain silent, and at all times wear the mask. So what is all this fuss about the mask? A bone white Venetian beak mask. With the mask you are part of the theater, part of the show. Go ahead. Linger about without shame. Whatever you see is touchable. And smellable. Rifle through the drawers and even the coffins. But you must at all times keep your morbid headgear on. There is no speaking from the actors or the audience. The actors wear no mask and perform a passionate, silent, interpretive, group or solitary, scenes. And at times there are, dance sequences included.
The McKittrick Hotel has been completely transformed into a five-story performance space. Sleep No More is such an incredibly unique theatrical experience. Can you just tell us, how does this whole thing work? Uh, it's quite a complicated process. The show is on a loop, and it runs three times a night. And so the performers perform their storylines, which are roughly an hour long, and they perform them three times, repeating from, from the beginning to the end, the beginning to the end, the beginning to the end, and then the big finale. There's uh, five floors, um, about a little over 20 characters that you can follow, um, 100 rooms, each with their own character. Uh, the sound is going all around. Um, it's probably something that you've never seen before. Like, it's a car, you're the driver, and you decide what you see, and you can follow whatever you desire. So if you really like one, one character, you can decide to then just follow them. But then, if, but then if someone else comes along that you prefer, you can decide to follow them. And you really have an ownership of it, which you don't necessarily have when you watch something. So why do audiences really have to wear these Venetian masks? Uh, it gives them a sense of anonymity. Because you wear a mask, it kind of gives you the right to be a voyeur and to really watch and to really be close to the performers and to rummage around people's drawers without feeling the sort of normal social constraints that you feel to not do that. Choreography, some houses. of this stuff looks like it's straight out of the Matrix. Can you tell us about performing that? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. I don't know when I'll ever get a chance to sort of run up and down furniture. Um, you know, the, the set becomes a dance partner, and we're allowed to just kind of claim it's the space. It's very physical. It's very dangerous sometimes. It rides a really fine line of real. I was doing a performance, and this woman was really trying to comfort me. So she was kind of hugging me, and she was also simultaneously very afraid of my character. So she was kind of trying to really hug me and console me, but also kind of stay away. So it's quite amazing. I think Punch Drunk hopes that this experience will just sort of seep into your blood and your dreams. Really let yourself be open to it and don't try and have preconceived notions about what things should be or should not be. And here is a question that might be very important. What color is the program given to the audience for the theater production of Sleep No More? The answer is no program is given for this production. Now go see this show. I promise it will make you feel you're living inside a Kubrick movie and it will infect your dreams.